Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. So, uh, here is Dwemersand. These guys have such really uh, awkward names. Dwemersand has need of an adventurer to deliver a message. You there, adventurer, could you deliver a message for me? My superior Millicent is stationed outside Atelier Fenil. She's doubtless busy, but I'm past due to be relieved. Long past due, truth be told. However, I cannot simply abandon my post. Speak to her for me, would you? But choose your words wisely. She has a bit of a temper. Alright, uh, now I believe she's over this direction. But if you open your map, there's the green tick mark. I'm Melissant Yemi Ro, and that is the quest we just picked up, so we know that we're going the right direction. What's all this about? Do we miss Aunt says he needs his break? The nerve of that snivelling little shite, crying for relief at a time like this. Has he already forgotten how shorthand we are since that business with the Ixal the other day? And send the bloody unknown venture to his bleating no less. That self-serving sod thinks only of his own woes, rubbing his sore souls, while welcoming all manner of gill-grabbing venturers into our Hollywood. Useless bloody fool. Makes me blood boil it does. Ah, but it's not you I should be giving a piece of me mind to. You seem a decent enough sort considering. Still. Understand that's our duty to keep an eye on every stranger that passes through these parts. Any road, I appreciate you lending an ear to my subordinate. Damn fool that he is. Go on then, and stay out of trouble. And there's a few more potions. Just complete that. Now we want to be heading back on our way to the Contras Guild. Although along the way there were a few more quests to pick up I believe. Yep. Uh, quite a few. So just going through here, there, oh, uh, here's the first one of those quests, I didn't think it was going to be quite so soon, okay. Estein, the caretaker of Miketo's amphitheater, needs an adventurer to help her tidy up. Greetings, traveller. Come to see Miketo's famed amphitheater, have you? I am Estein, caretaker of this fine centerpiece of Gradanian culture, and I fear I must needs trouble you for your assistance. You see, it is not only well-meaning men like yourself who are drawn to this place. The sylphs often visit in the dead of night, long after our citizens have gone to bed. We have no particular objection to their presence, and they seem grateful for the accommodation. So much so, in fact, that last night they left us a token of their appreciation, in the form of vegetables. A lot of vegetables. Their generosity is more than welcome, of course, but the sheer quantity of the things makes gathering them all something of a chore, and it's not as if I don't have enough to do already. In short, I'd be most grateful for any help you could give me. So interact with items, really straightforward, I'll not bother to read it, it's literally just right click anything that's sparkling. And that should do the trick. So there's number two. And there's number three. And number four. And five and six, where are you? There's five. And there is number six. Now, while we're here, we'll just have a quick stop over here and highlight this person here. This person, uh, Explosion Smurf, unusual name. But uh, basically what she was doing just before there, uh, she's uh, restarted, is something known as a performance. It's just the kind of uh, mini game that they added to the game a few years ago, where you can play uh, musical instruments. There's quite a few of them, I think it's somewhere around 16 different ones. And uh, that's only available to bards if you get them to level 30, an archer to level 30. Um, you can rule any class on any character, so for all I've started as a conjurer, which will eventually become a white mage, I could, once I reach level 10, uh, choose to become an archer, level up to level 30, and then I would get the performance art option as well to uh, play music just like she's doing. Normally quite a uh, common sight within the town centres. Uh, if you go into here, and then you've got this option here, which I can't select performance, that's why you would go to select that, and go from there. Anyway, let's uh, let his stay and know that we've tidied up all the vegetables. Well done, friend. 
We cut worse off would sing you praise. She knew well the power of art, how it could strengthen the soul of a nation and preserve its history for future generations. This amphitheatre was her greatest gift to Gridania, and it was her wish that all folk use it freely, not only for performances and festivals, but as a place to share memories and make new ones. I wonder if the Sylphs come here to do just that. That said, I do wish they would find other ways to express their gratitude. We have no need of vegetables here, but mayhap the Carlene Canopy can make use of them. Anyway, thanks be to the Elementals for bringing you here today. Right, so we're going to keep heading a little bit further along this way. And I don't believe we've collected the Tifanet shard, so we'll do that now. And keep moving further along. So we've got a few more quests here, and it will ultimately bring us to another Ethernet shard that we need to claim. So it's all uh, good stuff. Uh, Melane. The Conjurer Melane seeks an assistant for her frantically busy student. You there. You are an adventurer, yes? Good. I have a task for you. Take yourself over to the Conjurer's Guild and speak with my student, Breya. She has her hands full preparing for the auguries and would likely welcome your assistance. In her excitement at becoming a conjurer, I fear my young disciple is pushing herself beyond the limits of her endurance. Enthusiasm is all well and good, but would not do to have an, have an initiate collapse from exhaustion. Alright, we'll do that a little bit later, as we want to uh, head this way to get the last ether, ethernet shard in this area. A botanist named Sammy Ayn is hoping that an adventurer will pick up scattered rose hips for her. Stop right there. Not another step. I apologise if I have startled you, but please be careful. The ground here is covered in rose hips. You see, my seed pouch had grown so threadbare that it finally split open. Unbeknown to myself, I've been scattering Azima rose hips all along this road. Oh good sir, if you would help me gather them, I'd be ever so grateful. Thank you. Your kindness is truly a blessing from the elementals. The rose hips should be lying on the road between here and the Great Loom Growery. Remember to tread lightly, lest you crush them underfoot. Right, so this would be a good time to show you uh, when we go to journal. And it was covered in roses. And you click map. And this big orange circle is telling you the area, or the general area, where the quest is taking place. So, uh, just a little thing for to know going forward. So we'll just uh, click that. Uh, collect another one. And another. And another. And the last two. And we had a quest down there on the right, uh, just tucked away down there. But first, we're going to keep going and grab this Ethernet shard, otherwise, we won't have much of a chance to do it later on. And now back down to the quest that we ran past. Gods damn it! Another adventurer? You're like flies on muck. Whatever Gridania did deserves such a plague, I don't know. Huh, <sighs> I suppose times are changing and they keep telling me I should. And perhaps you might be. Oh gods help me, just just take this Azima roast to Wild you of still great fane, will you? Well, why are you still standing there for? Go and deliver the bloody rose. Uh okay, I'm uh, not like that guy's attitude very much, but uh never mind. <laughs> Just use our sprint button down there. That'll uh, obviously allow us to sprint a little bit faster, get us to our destination a little bit quicker. As the next place is after this uh, Sammy Yen lady up ahead, uh, I don't think we've got Ethernet locations at those ones. Good sir. Pray tell me you've recovered all the rose hips and abandoned not one to a traveller's boot. Uh, just hand those over. Blessings be upon you. I feared this path would be lined with roses next year. Not that such a wondrous sight would be wholly, question wholly objectionable, but Azima roses are ill-suited to this location. As a botanist, it's my responsibility to see Gridania's plants grow and thrive in the most ideal conditions. A place for every seed and every seed in its place, you might say. T'was most gracious of you to aid me in my time of need. I pray the elementals extend you the same kindness. Right, 
So now we're just going to have a quick look at our journal. Uh, speak with Briar. I believe, yes, at the Conjurer's Guild. Uh, Conjurer's Guild again. Ground Squirrels, that's outside. Do you live the Azima Rose? That is near the Conjurer's Guild. And Slayer Forest Funk was, that is outside the city. So, everything seems to be wanting us to go to the Conjurer's Guild, so that is where we shall go. Which is just down here, and on the right, I believe. Not that right, that is an exit out of the town. This right, just here, I believe. Yep, here we go. Welcome, adventurer, to the Conjurer's Guild. Here we commune with the Elementals and heed their guidance. Yet I must confess, the Elementals did not whisper of your coming. Right, just hand this over. We did indeed request Nazima Rose from Ethelred, but that you should bring it to us in his stead means that something wonderful has happened. Ethelred has long held a grudge against the many adventurers who have passed through Gridania's gates. His beloved flowers are renowned for their beauty, you see, and, we w and were once so highly coveted by Uldan collectors that they were picked nigh to extinction by fortune-seeking foreigners. Yet, if it is peace we desire, we must all learn to look beyond mistrust born of the past and overcome our prejudices. So has the Elder Seeds here taught us, and so do we live. I doubt it was easy for Ethelred to entrust this Azima Rose to you. When he hears we have received it, he will come to know that not all outsiders are deserving of scorn. Truly, it was by the will of the Elementals that you came to us this day. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. And that's another level up, but uh, no new skills this time. So we'll uh, just keep going down here. And there's a few quests uh, that we need to accept. Before we are ready to uh, do our class quest. Yes, yes, I am Bria, but I am also awfully b Oh, you say Lady Malayne herself asked you to assist me? In that case, I suppose you might lend a hand, especially as mine appear to be shaking, though only very slightly. Not that it's anything to worry about, mere nervous energy. Ahem, I would be exceedingly grateful if you would take this Azima Rose Oil and refill the sensors. There are two that require attention. Please have a care not to disturb the conjurers amid their meditation. You must be as quiet and unobtrusive as possible. Okay. Uh, key items can be used by first right clicking on that target. Yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. So to get inventory, and I believe it's that icon there for your key items. But uh, if we click that icon there, it returns us to our regular inventory. We can also just click this little icon here next to the quest title a lot of the time before to use them rather than having to open the key items bag. So we'll just use that one. And use. And the other one is back here. Use. And back to let her know that the uh, task has been done. My thanks. I must admit to being rather impressed by how faithfully you followed my instructions. I had always considered adventurers to be an uncouth and rowdy lot, but I see you are capable of courtesy as well. Lady Millane has a fine eye for character. You should feel honoured that she chose you for the task. Uh, potion or Aoife? Aoife is for uh, mana point restoration. We'll go with Aoife, seeing as we're conjuring. Now. Prayer is busy with preparations for the coming ceremony and needs an adventurer to bring her Scarlet Oil. Might you perchance be comfortable around Vilkin? If so, I have urgent need of your assistance. You see, I was preparing for the forthcoming auguries when I found, to my great embarrassment, that we lacked the requisite quantity of Scarlet Oil. If it is not too much to ask, I would be most grateful if you could resupply us in time for the ceremony. Scarlet oil can be harvested from ladybugs, such as those found near the bannock. Six of the Vilkin should yield the necessary amount. Pre return to me as soon as you have it. Okay. So, just have a double check of our log. Fungwars, ladybugs, and squirrels are all outside. 
and we need to speak with uh, our class trainer for to continue the main story quest. You seek the secrets of Conjury Adventurer? Then search no longer, for you have found your way to the Conjurer's Guild. It is at Meun's request that you have come, then allow me to provide you with an overview of what it is to be a Conjurer. Conjury is the art of healing and purification. Its practitioners harness the power of nature that they might bring about change in the form of spells. Primitive magics such as that once wrought by individuals known as mages, meaning those with the ability to manipulate ether, has existed since the dawn of time. It was not until some five centuries ago that Conjury emerged from this shapeless agglomeration of spells and charms, an event which led to the founding of Gridania. In those dark days, the elementals would not suffer man's presence in the Twelfth Wood, forcing our forebears to make their homes beneath the earth in the great subterranean city of Gelmora. But their desire to settle in the Twelfth Wood continued to burn fiercely. Time and again, they sought to curry the elementals' favour. Unlike men and other creatures bound in temples of flesh, the elementals are beings of pure ether. Recognising this, the mages of Eld reasoned that their talent for etheric manipulation might allow them to commune with these theretofore enigmatic entities. It took five long decades, but our forebears finally succeeded. Their reward, the elementals' permission to dwell in the Twelfth Wood. So it was that the nation of Gridania was born. Since that time, the elementals have taught us to live as one with nature, speaking to all Gridanians through the heroes, those mages who were able to commune with them. And for their intimacy with the elementals, the heroes would go on to attain greater mastery over the forces of nature. Thus did they conceive the art of conjury. I hope this has helped you gain a greater understanding of the Conjurer's Guild. Should you wish to delve further into the mysteries of conjury, then I urge you to consider joining our ranks. I can begin your initiation whenever you desire. Call upon me when you are ready to take the first step. Okay. Is your mind made up? Are you ready to join the Conjurer's Guild? That as well. I shall introduce you to our Guildmaster, Brother Isumi Yan. Brother Isumi Yan presides over the Conjurer's Guild, even as he serves the nation as a hero. You will find him in the meditation area within. Go to him and make known your desire to join the Guild. So we'll just go down to this guy and have a word with him. Greetings, adventurer. I am told you wish to become a conjurer of Stilgilead Fane. I am Brother Isumi Yan, master of this guild. Before you are formally accepted into our ranks, I would impart to you the principles of conjury. Pray attend me well. Conjury is an arcane art that takes life and the living for its domain. Its primary purpose is the solving of hurts and the granting of protection. Adventurers such as yourself often stand upon the front lines of battle. Owing to this, you are like to find yourself in many situations where a capacity for healing would be advantageous. Mind you, there is more to Conjury than that. By harnessing the power of earth, wind and water, Conjurers are also able of weaving spells that wreak havoc. In terms of sheer destructive power, Conjury may pale in comparison to Thaumaturgy, but its capacity to defend one against aggression more than compensates for this relative shortcoming. In mastering healing and purification, not only will you be able to mend wounds and purge afflictions, you will also be able to breathe life back into the fallen. More than simply healers, yet not true dealers of destruction, conjurers realise their full potential when they employ their powers in support of others. This, my dear adventurer, is what it means to be one of us. Hmm, mayhap that was too much to grasp upon a single hearing. But worry not, for the meaning of my worries will become clear to you in due time. Aye, you will come to understand that Conjury is not the sole province of the Conjurer. Should you wish to walk our path, I must needs ask that you solemnly vow to embrace nature, to heed the will of the Elementals and the Twelves Wood alike. Can you make this vow? I can indeed. I knew your answer ere your lips had parted, yet I am no less pleased to hear it. By the power vested in me, I hereby name you a member of the Conjurer's Guild. And so to work. Listen well now, for I would assign you your first task as a conjurer of Stillglade Fane. Just beyond the city gates, you will encounter squirrels, ladybugs and fungoirs. I would have you slay three of each. Lest you wonder how I can so coolly order the taking of life, know that things are not as they once were. 
As a consequence of the calamity, and I may add through no fault of their own, these creatures have become a burden to the Twelveswood, a burden it cannot bear well. As a conjurer, it is your duty to carry out the will of the forest, and by employing your powers in so doing, you will come to learn something of your art. Go now, Elric, and perform your first task in the name of the Elementals. Okay, so with that done, we have one last task to perform within the city, and that is to return to Mother Meun. So we'll head there now, and uh, have a word with her, and we should be just about ready to leave town and get some fighting done. At last, so much talking in town. <laughs> Right, now where uh, is it down here? No, it's not down there, that's an exit. We'll head back this way. And... Uh, yes, we'll go speak to Mother Meun first. We'll do that quest in a moment. And here we are, almost back at uh, Mother Meun. The Conquering Hero returns. You have completed my little tasks, I trust. The three locations you visited will feature prominently in your life as an adventurer. It is best you grow familiar with them as soon as possible. And you took the time to listen to the woes of the citizenry? I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to lend your talents to one and all, no matter how trivial the matter may seem. I am thankful that you are an obliging sort, Elric. It is adventurers like you who will win the hearts of the locals and pave the way for those who follow. I pray Gridania can rely on your aid in its struggles to come. Uh, achievements. Storyteller 1. Uh, achieved your first achievement. Uh, by milestones during our adventures in Eorzea. Achievements for just about everything. And earning gill. There are also rewards granted upon attaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare, rare weapons and armor. Others include titles which can be added to your display name to showcase your greatness. Now that's more like it. Now to do the next main story quest we need to be level 4. As I said all these extra little quests I've been picking up here and there do really uh, come in quite handy even if they are a bit of a chore early on. Okay, crunch, crunch, crunch. Mm -hmm. What the? This was not. I must have mistaken this metal bit for a nut whilst out foraging for food in the forest. A spare snaffle misplaced by some sorry soul from Treespeak stables. I suspect it was in their vague vicinity that I amassed the majority of my masticable morsels. Well, I've already uh, had a hefty helping of these here nuts, so I won't be walking for a while. Might I trouble you to take this to Treespeak stables in my stead? Try to pardon, pray speak to Barnabontant at the Yellow Serpent Gate. Listen well to his directions or you're liable to get lost. Okay, so we'll head back out here. There was another quest just around the corner from us. Alright, uh, ah, an adventurer. Precisely what we needed. Not a moment ago, we dispatched our nearest recruit, Arto, to inspect Miketo's amphitheater. Regrettably, the young here has, been, has more spirit than sense, and he charged off without his tools. Suffice it to say, he won't be getting any work done. Would you be so kind as to deliver them to him? Wonderful. Seek out Luhelic in the acorn orchard behind the atrium. He should have Arto's tools. Okay, um, let's check. Uh, preserving the past. Map. Just forward and on our left. Ideal sent you? Give me a moment. Yeah, they are. Still fresh and unused as the day he got them. Doubt he's even realised he's left the bloody things behind. First day and he forgets his tools. Daft sod needs a kick up the... Okay, there's the tools reclaimed. Just need to deliver them to that guy. But first we'll speak with Nico Leo. 
I know all about adventurers. You'll do anything for reward, won't you? Well then, I want you to make O'Neilly laugh. She's no good with strangers, so first you should introduce yourself politely with a bow. Uh, emotes. When words are just not enough, emotes can be used to express your feelings towards a person or situation. First highlight the target, then select social from the main menu, and then emotes. Finally, select the desired emote from the list. In this case, select bow after targeting or nearly to complete the quest objectives. Emotes can be set to your hotbars by simply dragging them from the emote interface. So we've got all of these here, and we can just uh, find bow. Where is it? It's nowhere to be seen. Oh, there it is, right at the top. I'm blind. Whack that on the bar. And of course, she doesn't want to speak to us just yet. So, bow. Hi. Okay. That seemed to work, but she still looks sad. Hmm. Try sharing the joy in your heart with her. That'll prove how nice you are. And now uh, we're going to go over here, select her, and if you can remember the commands, you can also just go with forward slash joy, or whatever command it is that you wish to issue. You're odd. I think she's starting to like you. Good. Now that you've broken the ice, I bet that if you surprise her and just start dancing, she'll laugh her head off. Okay. Uh, do a little forward slash dance. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> you're a really good dancer, mister. That looked like fun. Maybe I should try it sometime. Thank you. You're pretty good at this. O'Neilly lost her father five years ago during all the fighting. She hasn't left much since then. So I want to... I mean, we're all worried, but a lot of the younglings have been following me around lately, and... Uh, you wouldn't understand. Anyway, thanks for the help. Right, now to return this guy's tools. Uh, and the best way to do this would be through use of the Ethernet network, I believe. So we're just going to head straight over here to the uh, the main plaza, if right. And double check the location. It was uh, Miketo's Amphitheater. So Miketo's Amphitheater crystal is the nearest one to use. Ethernet and Miketo's Amphitheater. What? I'm terribly busy right now and would thank you not to bother me. I'm a carpenter of the prestigious Oak Adrium and I have repairs too. <gasps> Where did I put my... Oh gods, I uh, I take you're from the guild too then. What's that? Ideal sent you? Wh with my tools? Ah, ah yes. I was actually just about to go and... Um, <clears throat> this is so embarrassing. My apologies, it's just... I've been so focused on the task at hand. You know, it's a miracle this Amphitheatre even survived the calamity. It was the Carpenter's Guild that saved it, moving it piece by piece and rebuilding it. When I saw what they had done for Gridania, I knew what I wanted to be. But gods, when they told me my first task was to come here. Anyway, thank you for bringing me my tools. You're new to the Oak Atrium too, right? Well, let's both work hard for the good of the Guild, eh? Oh, and may the Elementals watch over you and keep you safe. Uh, good one, Dark Matter. Uh, used to repair equipment for levels 1 to 10, and of course some wind shards. Right, so now we just have to head outside of town to kill a whole load of stuff, I believe. Uh, kill squirrels, ladybugs, fungwars, squirrels, ladybugs. Uh, speak with some guy at the exit town. And Fungwas. Now we could have actually gotten back to the Conjurer's Guild a lot more quickly if we hadn't forgotten to pick their Ethernet crystal. We're going to do that now before we head out from town. 
And then we'll head for the exit. You have attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Gridania. The Blue Badger Gate, the Yellow Serpent Gate and the Airship Landing are now accessible as Ethernet destinations. You now have Ethernet access to the Yellow Serpent Gate. No okay, uh, access to the Airstrip Landing as well. Right, back to the, uh, was it the Yellow Badger Gate? Yellow Serpent Gate, but there he is right there. On an errand for that glutton of a Lalafell? Aye, past this gate and to the west you'll find Tree Speak stables. Hmm, if memory serves, that iron snaffle of yours looks like the kind they use in Chocobo bridles. Bodwin would be the fellow to ask about that, of course. He looks after the Chocobos there, you see. It could well be that he has need of that snaffle. Right, and with that, we're ready to go out and start killing stuff. But as this episode has already been going on for quite a bit longer than I would like, we're going to end this episode here, and we'll see you guys next time.